In this tape, we'll be showing you how to use the Rocket Fire Replay System. First, you want to start up you you want to start up your system. Once you start up your system, you will see that it'll bring you to a disclaimer. It is suggested that you read this disclaimer before moving on. Once you have read the disclaimer, click the screen. Here you'll see the title page and a random character. These images of the characters are randomly generated every time you boot up the screen. Over here you see the button to start the show and get into the game. But first we're going to review the other features in the menu. The first one being the credits. Here is where you can see the names of the creators and people who have helped on the game, including sources that have been used for, for research purposes. Now back at the screen you see our character has changed. Now we'll review the settings. Here you have the quality settings. This is where you can set your graphical presets, vSync, texture quality, screen resolution, and change the animation playback. As you can see, it notes before, down below that the software has real-time recording features and quality settings should be kept. Now we'll move on to frequently asked questions. This page will tell you everything you need to know about Rockafire Replay and how to use it. But since most people don't know how to read, we're going to show you this tape instead. Now that you've skimmed over through how to actually play the game, you can click Showtime and begin. Welcome to Showbiz Pizza Place in the virtual world. Here you'll see a very realistic looking front counter and a very realistic looking outside. Unfortunately, you are trapped for all eternity in Showbiz Pizza Place and cannot leave. You have two options. You can go to the Rockefeller Explosion or the new Rockefeller Explosion. We will be starting with the classic stage. This is the showroom for the classic Rockefeller Explosion stage. Here you have your two panels. We will review the one on the left. You have many options here, like smooth cam. This will make your camera move very smoothly for recording shows. Here, VHS will make things look more VHS than they already look right now. Forcing the curtains open will let us take a peek at our friends, the Rock of Fire Explosion. Right now, there are only three installed on the stage. To get a better look at our friends, you can turn the flashlight on with the E key on your keyboard. Hold down ALT and use your mouse scroll wheel to make the range smaller or bigger. Next on the control panel you have the option to change your height and the PSI. This will make the characters move faster or slower. You also have volume settings, the type of volume and sound you want, and physics bones the ability to toggle them. Now let's talk about tickets. You can earn tickets by making shows and programming characters. These tickets can be used in the prize corner in the back of the showroom. The prize corner offers a variety of objects to choose from, like a very dry slice of pizza. Yum. You can also create records and sleeves. You also have many accessories like the lunch boxes, and they come in a variety of what, what does it say? Uh, colors. They come in a variety of colors. You can also get stage props as well. The 
other tab will give you a selection of lights that you can use to illuminate the stage. These lights will help, these lights will help you illuminate the stage. That way, it'll be easier to see what you're doing when you're programming the characters if you don't want to use the flashlight. These work lights also come in a variety of colors to choose from. You also have floodlights that you can put de neatly decorate the stage with and illuminate the characters. These also come in a variety of colors. If somehow you summon too many items from hell, you have a trash can that you can conveniently place it all in and clean up your area. Now let's review the right hand panel. Let's start with customization. With edit stage, you can change the different types of stage that you'd like to perform with. There are also many stages for each character to make programming easier if you are prone to lots of lag. While we're on a mini stage, let's check out the archive room. This is a room where you can view different videos in an archive. These videos are videos taken about Showbiz Pizza and anything related to Creative Engineering and Rocket Fire Explosion History. You can select what you want to watch and watch them on the TV in front of you. The customization menu also offers you the ability to change your character's appearance with many costumes. You can also play, show tapes, segments, and you also have a show tape list. In the show tape list, there is an option to view what it's there for. Now let's get into movements. You have the ability to control the curtains, lights, and each individual character. Before you start to play a show, the panel will show you what keys on the keyboard will control what movements on the characters. It is suggested that you go through these and get yourself familiar with the characters before you play your show. Now let's move on to the new Rocket Fire Explosion stage. As you will see, the control panels are much like the ones in the classic stage showroom. Unlike the classic stage, the midgen characters are harder to control and more time consuming to program. Please make sure you get the feel of how to program them so you can do it correctly. Turntables are a very important part in programming the midgets. You are given a set of different positions that the turntable can go to. Make sure you are familiar with these. The same applies for the character turntables themselves. There is an option to use the key positions for the main turntable. This can help you better place the characters on the stage where you like them to be placed. Under the props section, you can use and control the side turntables of the stage. The center stage option will let you control all three characters on the center stage so they can be synced perfectly in a show. 
This concludes our tutorial on using the Rock of Fire replay system. Remember to wait until audio starts before you start programming your characters. And have fun! We hope you enjoyed and we hope this was very helpful for you. And we will see you once more progress is made.